Wiggle Ears is a wearable system that will wiggle the wearer's ears based on skin conductance. It's a project that combines biodata interfacing with playful expression. It's a catalyst for new embodied experiences through your emotions. We present Wiggle Ears. Hi everyone, my name is Victoria and today I'll be presenting my research I did as a part of the Exertion Games Lab, Monash University, Australia, supervised by Florian Floyd Mueller. The result of my research project is an embodied affected wearable that will wiggle your ears according to your emotions. This research was centered around the human computer integration paradigm. Particularly, we focused on the intersection of the fields of biodata interfacing, body augmentation, along with playful expression. To explore this, we asked the question, how can computer systems be integrated for playful expression and what are the social implications? Our aim was to create a system that can help us better understand our biodata and further research within the computer, human computer integration paradigm. We hope for our research to act as proof of concept towards using body augmentation as a central cue. So a quick introduction of the system. The system is built up of two motors attached to a headband, a GSR sensor and an Arduino. The user wears the headband on their head with the two finger gloves of the GSR sensor on the first two fingers of their non-dominant hand. And the Arduino sits inside a bag worn on the user's back. The Arduino is programmed to receive data from the sensor and determine when to move the motors. This research was conducted as an autobiographical study due to the situational circumstances surrounding last year. This means that I was both the designer and the user of the system. This has the benefit of me being able to understand the user experience better and make quicker adjustments to the system. So what did we find? There were three main interesting observations that I found in my results, which were the system's ability to fuel social dialogue, externalize, emphasize, and amplify positive emotions, and interrupt neutral emotions. In this following clip, we can notice that the year wiggle of the user who is on the far right and the reaction of the other players who noticed the wiggle. The reactions were a mix of laughter because they found the production amusing and interest towards the emotion that could have caused the ear wiggle. In my paper, we explore and analyze more situations during which the system was tested. During my research, we also had a couple of limitations. Firstly, due to the external situation, there were limited chances to test the system face to face. A workaround we found for this was to use video, video calls. However, we also found that it was a lot more difficult to notice the ear wiggle through a camera unless you were actively looking out for it. Furthermore, we noted that GSR by itself is not enough to pinpoint a specific emotion, which means that the ear movement and the user's emotions was not going to be a one-to-one -one correlation. This would mean that there wouldn't always be a clear reason as to why the ears were wiggling. However, we found that this facilitated more interesting conversation about possible causes of the ear movement. Finally, future work could look into extending the system to have different rates of change associated with different ear movements. For example, a faster change in GSR could have a quicker ear movement. We could also explore having another person's emotions wiggle your ears and see how that affects the companionship between the two parties. So the take home message is that the integration fuels social dialogue and that ear movement can be used as a form of facial expression. That's the end of my talk. Thank you for watching.